Hello, I'm John White. And I'm Karen Devine. Many of you just finished watching the two-part miniseries Madoff After the Fall right here on News Channel 3. Bernie Madoff is a former stockbroker and investment advisor was who was sentenced to 150 there. years in prison after pleading guilty to the largest financial crime in history. He built an estimated 20,000 investors out of approximately $64 billion while running a Ponzi scheme. Well, Madoff's scheme was far-reaching. It's estimated that thousands of investors lived in Southern California and dozens resided right here in the Coachella Valley. Tonight, in an exclusive interview, I sit down with a local woman who lost her life savings to Madoff, making life in her golden years incredibly tough. It was amazing, absolutely amazing to me how horrible this man was. 82-year-old La Quinta resident Sandy Blake invested $300,000 with Bernie Madoff in the late 1990s. She was a successful interior designer who wanted to make her earnings work for her to ensure a smooth retirement and to guarantee the lifestyle she was accustomed to. How has life been since you lost the $300,000? My lifestyle has changed dramatically because I used to travel a lot and I can't travel anymore. There's no money to travel. And I used to entertain a lot and have friends over for nice dinner parties. I can't do that anymore either. It's too expensive. Blake admits investing with Madoff in the beginning had its perks. She says she was getting a 20% return on her money and was able to do some incredible things for herself and her children with the earnings. I bought this house. I bought myself a new car. <laughs> so it went for good things. When Blake got the news that Madoff was running a Ponzi scheme and he was to be brought up on criminal charges, she flat out didn't believe it. The man she had dealt with for 15 years was smart, kind, and caring, and kept up his end of the bargain by sending monthly statements and quarterly dividends. She had no reason to believe the former chairman of NASDAQ was a crook. No, absolutely not. I said, he wouldn't do that. That can't be, that can't be right. And I was in total denial. If you had an opportunity to talk to Bernie Madoff, what would you say? I would say to him, you're a schmuck. <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> because he could have been, you know, as wealthy as he was, he could have stayed that way if he hadn't got himself involved in the Ponzi scheme. When Blake realized her retirement money was gone, she says she worked even harder and socked away as much money as she could. But at her age, it's been tough, and she relies on her Social Security check to pay the bills. Sandy, do you have any regrets in investing with Bernie Madoff? In reflection, I would say I should have been smart enough to know that it was too good to be true. And I wasn't. Well, the government has recovered $11 billion after liquidating Madoff's assets and bank accounts. Some victims who invested under $1.1 million will be paid back in full. Sandy Blake says she's not on that list and does not expect a check. And while lawyers attempt to figure out how the money will be distributed, they've pocketed nearly a billion dollars cleaning up Madoff's mess.